Welcome back. The time is now 645 AM. If your student goes to school here in Bibb County, books aren't the only thing they'll need to grab before heading out the door. Starting tomorrow, kids will also need to carry lanyards with an ID card on it. Our Kalisha Moore explains what students will use them for. It's like a new norm. Bibb County students like Dejas Houston and Griffin McKinney will now be scanning ID cards on the regular. Those cards are countywide, allowing students to scan when checking into school, getting lunch, books, and even riding the bus. The bus driver, she tapped that uh, we're on the bus, and then uh, she proceeded with her route. For McKinney, cards are just like an early dose of responsibility. It's kind of keeping up with your own driver's license, a mask, your laptop, just anywhere that you're going to go, just definitely preparing us to be more adults in the real world. The district is giving the students lanyards and asking that the cards be visible at all times, providing an extra sense of security. For Wendy Pooler, the principal at Rutland High, she gets to see things from an administrative and parental perspective. So just to have that extra layer with them as a parent, I think it is very beneficial. Um, and it's, it's a peace of mind for a parent. The Bibb County School District recently implemented the IDs in an effort to save time. It's given us the opportunity to have more efficient and effective processes in our school. Rose Powell, the district's chief information officer, says scanning is also a first-time safety opportunity, identifying children at school activities and can even track times they got on and off buses. If we needed to know if a student was on a certain bus that afternoon or that morning, we're going to be able to check and see. And it has pros for the little ones, too. They don't know their number or log in to type it in. So on this ID card, we have their QR code that they just hold up to their iPad and it will log them into their class link. Saving time while adding security. In making Kalisha Moore 13 WMAZ News. That's absolutely great. Now all students should have an ID card by now. The Bibb School District says kids will start using them tomorrow.